Well, this could be huge. We could have another player in the Windows PC market, and it is NVIDIA. So NVIDIA is planning to get into the Windows PC market in 2025. That is next year. I'm recording this November 2024 with its own ARM-based CPUs. This move could shake up the industry, absolutely, and offer a new alternative to traditional x86-based processors from Intel and AMD. This is going to be, I think, extremely interesting. And the more competition we have in the Windows PC market, in my opinion, is a good thing because it will definitely spur innovation and it will also hopefully keep prices down. Although that does not seem to be happening because, well, if you're building a brand new system today, you're probably going to need anywhere from two to maybe $7,000, depending on where you live in this world. Because here in Canada, like for example, a 4080 or a 4090, I should say, video card is upwards of $2,500 before tax. Yes, that's $2,500 Canadian, that is, that is not US. I know in the United States, you could probably get them for half that because if something costs $1,000 in the US, it is double pretty much time it gets here to Canada with the duties, fees, taxes, and all the rest of it. So this is definitely something that I am interested in and looking forward to to see what Intel can come to the table with. And I wonder, I wonder how expensive though, you know, is this hardware going to be? It's probably going to be terribly, terribly expensive. So NVIDIA is developing ARM-based CPUs specifically for Windows PCs. And this offers, of course, massive potential for gamers and, of course, AI, because NVIDIA is leading right now when it comes to that as well. And NVIDIA getting into the market will not only compete with Intel and AMD, they will also be competing with Qualcomm. And, uh, you know, Qualcomm has exclusive rights to ARM-based Windows chips that expire in 2025. So the timing here is absolutely perfect. NVIDIA will compete directly with them in the market. And I suspect a lot of the competition, well, are concerned and uh, probably rightfully so.